Hey there! And the time has come and I am going to be leaving Ireland and it's going to be a really really long journey so just a heads up it's going to be a trip on the bus to the airport and it's going to be, if my duration isn't wrong it's a seven and a half hour flight to Qatar and then a two hour 15 minute transit then a number eight hour flight all the way to Malaysia so I'll be taking you on the journey with me and starting with this messy havoc behind me let's get to it 2000 years later hey there and today is literally the day that I'll be leaving this room and you can see everything is packed and I'm so nervous that I can't get this to started so I'll see you on the road Hey there, so I'm not sure if you can hear me, but it's really really windy. I've now arrived at the bus stop, so it's now time to wait for the bus to arrive. <laughs> Goodness me, it's so windy right now. It's actually freezing. I think ideally the temperature is not that cold. I forgot to check exactly how what temperature is it, but the wind just reduces the temperature like crazy. So I'm going to do a voiceover for this part and at that point I have already arrived at the airport so as you can see it's extremely empty at this point so here's a funny part so the bus driver asked me which terminal I'm getting off but obviously it doesn't say anywhere on my ticket which terminal I'm in so what he did is that I told him I'm flying on Qatar Airways so he assumed that Qatar Airways departs from terminal 2 well truth to be told it departs from terminal 1 so I end up having to make this long long walk from Terminal 2 all the way to Terminal 1 which if you follow me on my Instagram I actually call this the walk of loneliness but it's kind of good to know that there's quite a good scenery at this point so continue with the vlog So I'll do a voiceover for this part again. So this is the boarding gate 
and because this gate doesn't have a bridge that connects an airplane so basically as we board we'll get onto a bus which will take us all the way onto the tarmac where the plane is at and we'll walk up the stairs into the cabin so perfectly seated and ready to go So for this part, I'll be doing a voiceover throughout the entire section so that you have a good idea what's going on. So first of all, we need to download this app called MySuggetra, which is what the government uses for COVID tracking and surveillance. So once you get off the plane, the officials will line you up, which they will take you in to carry out the entire process of your arrival registration, COVID-19 testing, immigration clearance, and hotel registration. So good thing for me is that because I'm a student, I'm exempted from COVID testing fees. And plus, you must be returning for the first time and not a repeat return. So the entire process took about one and a half to two hours. And for the hotel options, there's two options. The standard one, which is 150 per night, and the premium, which is 250 per night. And you only get to know which hotel you're staying when you get there. So we collect the luggage, which they will put it in the pile for you according to your flight, not instead of waiting in the conveyor belt. So we'll be going to the bus. So there's 24 of us going to the same hotel. So before we board the bus, they put all of our luggage together and they will sanitize it. Spring it like crazy. Doesn't smell, but you can see that it gets wet. So we only have access to our backpacks while our luggage just gets sprayed. So once we arrive at the hotel, we have to register, which is about an hour process again. So they'll take records of your boarding pass, your identity, your passports, etc. And then they'll put a strap on your wrist, which is for monitoring and surveillance. And you cannot take these off. Any unauthorized removal or temporary can render legal consequences. So we have to put this on. So time to give you a tour of my hotel room. So it's a pretty nice hotel, a nice shower. And then I have a double bed to myself. So yes, I'm pretty happy with what I get so far. Besides, it's 14 days. And the rules are pretty simple, which is we cannot smoke in the rooms and we must remain locked in for 14 days. And food will be delivered three times a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. And there will be bin bags given to you every single day, which they will also have a daily collection for those bin bags as well. So everything is brought to you. All you have to do is to remember to open the door and get to it. So as you can see in the footage here, I'm retrieving my breakfast for the day, which is 8 a.m. and I have, two, I have two portions somehow, but it's a long story, so I might as well not get into that. So all of these food containers, after you eat them, you just have to put into the bean bags and leave it outside the room. So whatever it is, just stay in your room. And if you leave your room, you'll be caught and you won't want to be dealing with these kind of consequences. So I hope you really enjoy and find my journey and information informative and I will begin my 14 days from now. Thank you. Oh yeah, before I really end this video, there's a few more things that I really have to mention. And first of all is that once you check into your rooms, every single instruction is being written literally black and white in this big sheet of instructions given to you and it also lists that if you want to have any outside food delivered to the hotel, there's restrictions, it has to be halal, and there's a list of specific uh, restaurants that you can order from, so you can't just order from any restaurant. And there's also certain time slots, I think it's 9 to 5 that they allow external foods, and certain deliverers can only come between 3 to 5 in the afternoon. So a lot of restrictions going on when you're in quarantine. So I think I said in the voiceover just now, I hope you find everything about my journey and all this explanation informative. 
And if you have any questions, just pop it down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And on this note, see you.